Hey guys, Tom here with another vlog update. Mrs. Whippy, I know you're watching. I turned off the fan in the background, so hopefully that doesn't uh, distract anybody from this video. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions lately about my snatch technique, and um, if you've been watching any of the Muscle Driver USA videos, you will notice two things. A, the gym is done, uh, and it's looking fantastic. Um, and B, I've actually been making some changes to my technique, and I actually look like you know a weightlifter, sort of. Um, instead of jumping all over the place like I normally do on my snatches. Um, so I've been getting a lot of questions about that, asking, you know, what I've been doing or what I did to fix it. And uh, I tried typing it out a couple times um, for people to read and stuff like that, and it made, didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So I thought I'd do a video with a little bit of a visual, and uh, hopefully that'll help explain exactly what we did um, in terms of fixing my technique. And hopefully it can help you out, maybe help you somebody you coach or... Maybe, you know, just somebody that you may know had the same issue, you can pass this along to them, right? So, um, the first, I'm, I'm going to warn you first, my drawings are not good. They're stick figures. So, you know, don't sit there and rip on the drawings or be like, oh, that's not correct. No, duh, they're not the scale or anything like that. Um, so, first one I'm going to show you is what I was actually doing um, before uh, we started making these changes. And if you notice in this first one here, um, first off, uh, you pay attention to Glenn's videos, you know he teaches the snatch and the clean and jerk in three progressions, one, two, three. Um, we're going straight from position one here. There's no need to talk about all the other stuff right now because my main issue was with position one. So if you notice here looking at this position, um, my, my hip is in front of my heels, which was causing my knees to come forward, and I was losing tension in my hamstrings here, excuse me. And um, it was causing my back angle to come a little, like leaning forward a little bit. What this was causing me to do is as I would go into the finish into my catch, I was going forward and up as opposed to pushing straight back like you're supposed to do. I was coming up on my toes and pushing through my toes as opposed to pushing through my heels. All right, so this is what I was doing. And if you notice any of the videos, there are a lot. Some videos, it's not as bad as others where I'm jumping like way forward. Sometimes I jump like, you know, six inches. Sometimes it's almost a whole foot. Maybe sometimes it's just an inch. But regardless, I, this is what I was doing to get into position. And, and this was causing me to jump forward on my catch. Now, what I was doing, I'm going to hold this up next to the other one. Um, Don McCauley came out. Well, first off, Don McCauley, or Glenn noticed that I wasn't keeping tension in my hamstrings. Um, so he mentioned that to me, and then Travis Cooper had said something about keeping my hip back. Um, once I did those things, I was at the end of my work sets, and uh, I actually, you know, noticed a, a change in my lift after that was uh, said to me. And then Don McCauley came out and talked to uh, talked to me a little bit more and worked on some things with me for about two days straight. And um, so the main things that we focused on were my hip position. Instead of, you notice here where my hip is, like I said, is behind or in front of my heel, here we go to my hip being behind or over my heel. And, uh, you know, it brings my knees back a little bit more here. And what it does in, in, in relation to that is getting my back straighter. You notice here, I got a little bit of a forward back angle. Or, uh, yeah, forward angle here. And here, my back is a little bit straighter. And what this was causing me to do by getting into the better position was I was actually able to push through my heels and push back into the finish. Um, this is obviously what you want to be doing. You don't want to be doing this. So, like I said, we, we worked on these things. I did about, you know, 60 so reps with it. Um, the other thing, you know, and, and once I was starting to fix this, other things were coming into play. Like, I was always having a hard time accelerating that bar back into my hip um, after it cleared my knees. And by doing this, you know, by getting my back um, back, it was allowing me to accelerate that bar better, sweep it really good into my hip, and hit a nice easy finish. It also fixed my catch. I wasn't catching um, all hunched over or, like, leaning forward or anything like that. I was able to catch with you know a nice big chest, nice tall punch up, um, back behind me. So that was the main thing. Um, the the three main things we focused on was uh, keeping tension in my hamstrings, uh, keeping my hips back behind my heels, and keeping my back straight. By doing those three things, it, it corrected so many other things. So hopefully that helps answer the question for you guys of what I was doing. Um, like I said, once I did that, it eliminated a lot of the issues that I have. I mean, I still have a lot of work to do in fine-tuning it and fixing it and everything, obviously. But um, there was immediate, you know, difference in my snatch technique. You can look at some of my older videos and compare it to some of the most recent videos, and hopefully you can notice the difference, too. Uh, so if that helps you out, great. If you need a little bit more of an explanation, comment down below. I can get, probably get one of the guys to help me out at the gym and do, like, some kind of, like, an actual demo with a video. Um, I have one of those little Coach Eye app things that can, you know, draw angles and stuff, hopefully. And uh, hopefully that'll help, you know, either way we can get you some help. So, um, 
take a look at those pictures again. Uh, hopefully that you know gives you what you need. Let me know if you have any questions and uh, have fun in your training. Later.